Did ya? Oh no, oh no you don't. Oh no, ah you got me. Rat kids are dicks to strangers. Also, did you see that? I got out of his way. He swerved to hit me. That was intentional. If I was Vivi, I'd be checking my pockets. Well, that's it for today. Time to get ready for the play. That's, um... This is gonna sound very geeky. But one thing that you should know about me by now, people, is that I am very geeky. <laughs> I've never... I've never tried to keep that secret from you. I don't like keeping secrets from my family. But, um... It's a duck man. Castle Alexandria is this way. <laughs> Why did he blow a trumpet that sounds like a duck when he himself is a duck? Um, but I love the kind of world and atmosphere that Final Fantasy IX creates. Um, I don't know, there's something about it that I actually find it very relaxing to be playing this game and being in the world. Pigeon! Pigeon! Ooh, fearless pigeon! Oh, you're one of those pigeons from uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, no, it is Notre Dame in France, isn't it? Hello, my buddy Hippal. Yes, yes, they are posh. They're nobles. Keep your eye on Hippal, by the way, despite the fact that he has a slightly terrifying face. We will be seeing much more of him later on in the game, if I get that far. What I'm actually hoping to see from this series um, is I don't necessarily have high hopes of it doing incredibly well in terms of views. But what I would love to see is that you guys watching it, my current subscribers, that if you watch it, that you end up getting into the series itself. Even if you've never play played Final Fantasy IX, even if you don't have the slightest interest in ever playing Final Fantasy IX. Um, I just hope that you just enjoy the game for what it is, because it is one of my favorites, so I definitely want to share it with you. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, I like how she's doing all the work while this guy's just standing there. Oh, Ashley, don't be so hard on yourself. You'll be busy again someday. Red Mage with Manic Depression, that's rough. Also, Red Mages, um, if if you played the older Final Fantasy games, you're going to find a whole lot of references and throwbacks to the Final Fantasy 1 all the way up through even 8, I think, maybe. But uh, Red Mages were a class in, I think it's Final Fantasy 8, I'm not sure. Uh, but they were, that was just kind of a little reference. I mean, you don't get an actual Red Mage character at any point, but today's half price special, our original cocktail, Her Love Majesty. Hello? Sure. Let's roll. Let's dig it. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a touch of the man flu. One thing that I really didn't stress enough in, um... How did I get a ticket for the show? Wouldn't you like to know? I had to do some things I wasn't proud of. You better head straight to the ticket booth. Ready? Um... But one thing that I really didn't stress enough in, um... And the last time I did this is that Vivi is one of the single toughest characters you'll ever come across in any game. You gotta remember, the kid is nine years old, and he probably bears the brunt of some of the heavier topics in the game, and he handles it superbly. Yeah, this is Doug. I don't think we really want to buy anything from Doug just yet, uh, mainly because there isn't really anything we need from him. The, uh, the next couple of battles that we get are pretty easy. In fact, the only person who is likely to die in the next couple of battles is Sinna. But that's because Sinna sucks. I do think. Yes, I do like flowers, because I'm a man. Flowers for sale, a perfect gift for the one you love. It's true, I actually, I do like flowers. My favorite flower is, um... The statue was built to commemorate the three knights who fought bravely in the 15th Lindblom War in 1601. The heroic Knights of Pluto. Also, remember that title, Knights of Pluto. They uh, they do turn up later on. Actually, they do turn up quite a bit in the game. That's actually something I love about Final Fantasy IX. The side characters do get a lot of attention. Married for 30 years, worked our rare ends off, and finally we can afford a ticket to the show. I'm so happy. <laughs> you know, that is actually incredibly sweet. It's a shame that the show is pretty much doomed to end in disaster, but that's very sweet. I'm taking my wife to the theater. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I'm dying, guys. Taking my wife to the theater tonight, so we shall close soon. That's all good. You deserve it. You deserve a day off. I keep telling my son we'll go out of business, but he never comes home. That's because sons are dicks to fathers. Hmm. Which sword to buy? I wish I had a little more money. I'm not giving you any. <laughs> I don't do handouts. There's something I just missed back here. Uh, this hair. Eh, there we go. 
We are always looking for recruits for the Knights of Pluto in Alexandria Castle. Come while you brave young men, let us protect the Queen and our beautiful country together. Captain, Knights of Pluto. I like how it says, um, just Captain without an actual name because we haven't actually picked his name yet. Hippal! Gwahahaha! I hid my three precious cards at a safe place. I wonder where that safe place could be. Ladies? Only noblemen and ticket holders may pass through the gate. I'm a noble ticket holder. If you have a ticket, get a stamp at the ticket booth in the center of the square. I don't wanna... Oh. Actually, something to show you. As you all know, the, uh, the show that we're gonna go see is called I Want to Be Your Canary. Uh, this is Vivi's ticket. Come see the all-time classic love story, I Want to Be Your Crow. A tragic tale of destiny, cursed memories, dreams, life and death. Um, so yeah, that's how the guy spots it as being a fake in a bit. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and do the skipping mini game because I'm awful at it, but I'm willing to give it another shot. And yeah, I wanna try. Because you can get some really rare cards by doing it. I have the tiger. Don't distract me! Ah, oh, you distracted me! I don't need to know you're gonna go faster. Um, but yeah, if you get up to 20, you get a Cactuar card. Um, look at her! The calf and thigh muscles of an Olympian. I tip my hat to you, lady. I tip my pointy steeples hat to you. Uh, but you can get some rare cards, and you get a key item, um, King of the Jump Rope. What do you mean there's no vacancies? Oh, blah, 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 blah. She, uh, really, really, really quite sorry. I don't believe this. I have a reservation, damn it. Jeez. Red mages are dicks to innkeepers. What is this weird frog? Oh, here's a frog. Sorry, no vacancies today. Oh, busy, busy, busy. I forgot about this terrifying hippo lady. <laughs> oh, God, how I hate her. Alright, there's nothing else here for us except terror. Share terror. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, okay. Because I pretty much know Final Fantasy IX inside out for the most part. I pretty much know where everything is and how to get some of the tougher stuff. There's a few bits later on, uh, like with the Chocobo mini game and whatnot, that, um, that I'm a little bit hot and cold on, appropriately enough. That's, that is a geeky reference that you might get if you played Final Fantasy IX. Dante, my friend! Can't you see? I'm working on interrupt. Oh, I get the feeling you and I are going to be the best of friends later on. Oh, you left your house. That means dibs. I get to enter and take whatever I want. <laughs> there is actually something I'm going to show you in a bit. Alright, so we're taking the eye drops. I just want you to bear in mind that we are currently, in essence, breaking and entering. We are stealing from this person's house. This little girl. This sweet little girl. We are stealing from her. Okay. So bear that in mind, because I'm about to make another shocking plot revelation for you. This little girl is a ghost. Okay. <laughs> I like how they caught him breaking and entering into the castle, and they didn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kill him, or arrest him. Them newfangled mist-powered ships float through the air, but two ships are supposed to float on water, right, Sonny? Sure, Grandpa, sure. <laughs> you and your drugs. My kitten mittens ran away. Tell me if you see him, okay? Yes. Now, this is something that I told him I would do the last time I recorded this. And, uh, and what I did was just tell him a bald face lie. Because I didn't look for mittens. I didn't find mittens. But the truth is, that was quite insensitive of me because I know mittens. I know Mitten's location. I know where to find him. Um, the thing is, as much as I love cats, we, myself and Jess, we have a cat, and I love the thing to bits. Um, I love it as much as I love Jess. <laughs> I joke with Jess Singer that I love Lucy. Um, I love Lucy the same way I love her. Well, no, it's different. No, I love her the same amount as Jess, but in different ways, maybe. Um, just to freak her out. But um, cats can be dicks to their owners. It's what they do, no matter how much you love them. Alright, if we give this old rope a pull, we can ruin Hippal's day because we will have found his secret card stash. I'm also going to drink some tea. Oh, that's good tea. Iron Knight, Goblin, and Fang card. Now, despite his previous claim that these cards seem super rare, they are not. 
Although... Yeah, I think I just screwed myself over in a way, actually. I think if you leave those cards there, when you come back to Alexandria later on in the game, you actually get a Rama and a Shiva card. If I remember correctly. Could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Here we go, this is the, 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 the little girl. Oh, hello again. As you might notice, her name is Ilya. She is the granddaughter of the old woman we just mugged earlier on. And she's also that little sweet girl who gave Vivi his ticket after he fell down. So she showed him a kindness. She did a good deed and helped him when he needed help. And <laughs> Vivi went ahead and stole from her grandmother, pretended to be Ilya as well, I might add, while talking to her grandmother, and then stole from Ilya's own house itself. Vivi is a dick to everybody. No nobility, no tickets, no problem. Enjoy the show from the rooftops. Assemble here by the steeple at sundown. Together, the people will prevail. The proletariat patrons movement. Ah, the PPM. Always causing some trouble. <laughs> Have any of you ever seen uh, the, the Life of Brian? Coming soon, mini theater, under construction. Bear that in mind as well. Uh, if you've ever seen the, the Life of Brian, I love the, are you the Judeans people's front? Like, fuck off. We're the people's front of Judea. <laughs> like, There's your Judeans people's front. And then they're like, where's the popular people's front? He's over there. And it's just like one guy sitting by himself. And that's the popular front. Oh, actually, hang on. I want to boast to Hip Hall about getting his cards. Ah, he ran away because he couldn't take the shame. I don't blame him. All right, let's talk to this ticket man at last. After examining this. The hit epic that captivated all of Lynn Blum, I Want to Be Your Canary, triumphantly returns to Alexandria on the theatre ship Prima Vista. But this time, the performance commemorates the 16th birthday of Her Highness Princess Garnet. Don't miss it! Tickets available at the ticket booth. Let's do it. 